And something very odd is happening over the French uh, Canadian telescope in Hawaii. Um, this is the seventh, and uh, we have a quarter moon. This is on home planet. This is a program that's not connected to anything on the on uh, the internet. Mm. This is Stellarium, which is a quarter moon. Now, what we'll do is we'll go over to. Um, What's happening here, this is supposed to be the moon. Now, that is in the correct position, but it's got the moon labeled there in Libra. There's Saturn up here. Now, Saturn is a very bright star. And we'll run that. Take it back just a little bit. All right, now we'll see what happens. So this is all correct. Uh, this is Virgo. See those flashing light then? Now another flashing light, another flashing light, again, again. Full circle. Mm -hmm. There's Libra going up there. This is where the moon is supposed to be. Fine. The only way the moon can be that bright is if there's something out there illuminating the moon, like we've showed you in videos before. And all this, this uh, strange formation and here comes the sun which is right that's in the right timing so we'll just go back and we'll see this starting to rise here that's uh, 621 January the 6th Right there, 21. We're on the 7th now, 745. One hour past, one and a half hours, 2 a.m. Right there. So here we have the moon coming up, right there. Now, that is not. I'll just stop that. We go back to home planet. That's what it should be like. We go to Stellarium. That's what it should be like. But over Hawaii, it is full. So it is so bright that it defies imagination. That the only way this can be as bright as that as if there's something on the other side of the earth shining brightly that is not in the same direction as the sun. So in other words, to come back towards here and then come straight back over your shoulder looking at it, that's where the light is coming from. So we'll continue. <coughs> Now there's speculation that this is chemtrails and all that kind of stuff. Um, I wouldn't agree with that. I would say it's something on the glass outside of the... Uh, now this is rain that's on the glass. I've seen this before, by the way. Uh, it protects the lens of the telescope because they're looking through a window, if you like. We go back to the start of this. We see this is all water on the on the, the glass, which happens at night, condensation and so forth, or rain. <coughs> okay, so we've got these strange light formation there. But let's see. Okay, now it's evaporated. All right. Very very bright lights down here, which is the city. But then coming up in line with the city from the mountain, watch a very large flash of light. Let's see if we can stop it when it happens.
That's the city lights down there. That's no problem. Yep. Whatever it is, there's such a bright flashing light across the sky moving at gigantic speed well let's run at normal time now notice that the colour of it is the same as that there that is the moon what is definitely the moon but what it is it's picking up a tremendous amount of light from another source that as you, the viewer, are looking at this, there's a light behind your shoulder, behind your right shoulder, where the sun is actually coming up over here somewhere. So in other words, towards Australia, and then this is coming up. That is raindrops. So I'll just do it one more time. Watch for the very, very, very bright light in the sky. It is huge. It's a close path of something very big, very close to the Earth. It's between the Moon and the Earth, so therefore it could be... that could be just above the Earth's atmosphere moving at a very very high clip capturing its art as well to do it again there you go now the time that happened is uh, January the 7th at 234 and 13 seconds 2013 take it back and show you one more time now imagine this is gigantic it's just above the Earth's atmosphere it's crossing the, uh, the sky so quickly that we can hardly stop it there it is go back a little bit if I can It's happening so quickly I can't even go back slowly with the mouse to capture. Maybe. Still can't do it. There it is. Yeah. Nice click. Do it again. So fast I can't stop it. When's that one from? I've seen those flashes on there before. Well, it happens quite a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. I seen them while well, I was on Ash's birthday. There was nine of it. Remember that? That's right. Yeah. Of course, these are very, very close, but there it is. A nice one. So, where is it in? Virgo, dead centre of Virgo. So that's gone. Uh, I thought you were talking about this before, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, what happens is this has gone past, and the light of it is now, if you imagine, over my right shoulder towards Australia and the equator so as it goes past it's out of sight and gone and then we see the moon coming up and it's flashing the same colour so in other words this thing is only a few seconds past 
where that is. So in other words, it's gone past here at this angle and it's gone out towards Australia on the equator. And it's flashing. Now you notice how it's going bright and then it'll go... See that? Mm, pulsating. Now no astronomer, no matter what they say, it's bullshit. The moon is like that. Well, any astronomer that says there's any truth just gets knocked off, don't they? That's right, I'll kill them. So there it is, home planet. This is not connected to the internet. That's where it is. Yet we're getting out. Now, Libra is judgment, <coughs> Saturn, and Virgo. Very important at this point in time. Saturn represents Jesus. Virgo represents a wife. Jupiter also represents Jesus. I say Saturn represents Jesus because the amount of energy it gives off is uh, 9.42 times it receives from the sun. And that's how many times 9.42 verses there are in the King James Bible with the name Jesus in it. And then we have all this strange phenomena here. Could be effect of icing on the on the uh, glass at yeah, that is quite a high altitude, that camera. Yeah. Still impressive, though. And this is Offishes, which uh, uh, is the one that uh, Nostradamus talked about. And uh, it's holding the uh, head and the tail of the serpent, which is uh, Judaism, Zionism, that has taken over the entire planet with its uh, mouth was in its tail. Uh, the his tail was in his mouth and the Lord pulls it apart and strangles it, crushes Scorpio with his left foot and gets stung in the heel, that's Genesis and uh, then we got the sun coming up. Now you'll also see how this is raindrops now. That's what, that's what that would be, that would be raindrops on the glass that they're looking through with the protects the end of the telescope. Mm. Now Sagittarius and uh, Scorpio, uh, is, this is where the head of, is crushed. Sagittarius, that is uh, <coughs> my younger stepdaughter, the 20th of December she was born, 1979, uh, in Geelong, Australia, where the sunrise to sunset was 888 minutes. And then uh, my youngest daughter, uh, Nicole, she's a scorpion, like her mother, and... Um, Scorpio is represented by the scorpion without, in the Nostradamus drawings, uh, the tail has been crushed off. So where's the tail? It's in the heel. And that's where the Old Testament prophecy is. It stings the heel of uh, the Lord when he crushes it. It's called prophecy of now. So there you go. Then he just puts a band-aid on and it's all better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>